one. So today I'm going to show you how to make a letter D out of boondoggle. Um, and why do I always do this? I've already made one. Um, I made it today during school. And it was actually surprisingly easy. Um, the reason that I just got up and basically left the entire room um, was not really... I just walked to the other couch. Um, was to get this, which is the D, and I haven't even burned it yet. But um, you, here you can see. Um, it's a letter D. And I made the D first because D for Dana. Um, even though my friend said it was for her because her name begins with the D too. But I made that today. <sighs> Uh, so right now I'm just working on one. You're going to want to start a square project, and then you want to do about 30 stitches, um, and then you're going to go on to, like, the next little portion. So, I've got about eight already, so I figured I'd keep working, and then I can show you, obviously, because I have to do that. I was, like, I did, like, one stitch of it, and then I was like, oh, this is great, now I'll just, like, re-show how to do it. No. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> I was going to take it apart, but then I was like, no, I'm going to keep working on this. Because it was really simple and easy, and I was, like, shocked at how easy it was, actually. Um, there really are two ways to do this. This way I found to be the easiest. Um, although I guess the other way would be pretty easy, too. Actually, I don't really know. But anyways, so, um... Let's see. Today is Tuesday night, and it is the last Tuesday that I am in high school. Um, classes, at least. I had um, classes today. I still have them tomorrow and Thursday. And then Friday, um, seniors don't really have to go to class. They basically go for, like, an hour. Um, school starts for us at 8 o'clock, and normally we get out at 3 o'clock. Um, but on Friday... I go in at 8 o'clock and I leave at 10.30, um, which is good because it is the day of prom and I do have a lot to do to get to, I do have a lot to do to get ready. Um, I have to do my makeup, I have to do two of my friends' makeups, um, I have to do my nails, well actually I'm getting my nails done, um, I have to get my hair done, um, get dressed and then I have to be at my friend's house by 4 and I have to drop a car off at school because of um, post-prom. And so I've got to, like, leave my house probably at, like, 3.30 because my friend um, lives on the other side of the world. And normally, it's only, like, a 10, 15-minute drive to get to her house. Um, not about that, yeah. But um, there's been construction, and there's, like, really, like, two ways to get to her house. And one is, like, the super easy way, um, where you just take, like, the one road that, like, cuts through, like, all of my entire town. Um... But, no, that road is blocked at the one place where you can get through to her street. Um, because there's a throughway in the way, so you can't go there. So, anyways, I have to drop it off at her house, and now it takes, like, 20 minutes to get... Um, I have to drop it off at school, and it takes, like, 20 minutes to get to her house. Um, and then I have to be there at 4. My date doesn't get out of school till 3 o'clock, because he's not a senior. So, I have to wait till... Um, he gets out, but, I mean, guys don't really take that long to get ready, so I'm really not that concerned about it, but he's like, I am not missing any of the last day of school, which is fine by me. Um, I don't really, you know, I don't mind. Um, but, yeah, he doesn't get out of school until 3 o'clock, and then he gets home at, like, 3.15, and he's going to take 15 minutes to get ready. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing his mother knows. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, and today I also have... Um, my last Make-A-Wish meeting, which is kind of, um, kind of, like, bittersweet because I've been doing it for two years, but, like, at the same time, it's just like, oh my gosh, this was so much work, um, for the past two years. Um, I've raised over a thousand dollars for Make-A-Wish Foundation all, um, on my own. I make hair clips, and then I sell them. Um, and I did a very, very phenomenal job of my TED. Um, normally there's two pictures that are, like, kind of, like, situated behind me when I'm working in my room. Um, there's one of me and two girls, um, and those are two of my very good friends. Um, well, the one is actually, like, my very, um, well, one is one of my best friends, and then the other is, like, my best friend's best friend. Um, but we're also pretty good friends, and I just saw her last week. I did her makeup for her prom, because she doesn't go to my school. Um, but there's that picture, and then there's the other picture, which is a picture of me and me. It's me and my hair clips. Um, there was an article published about me in my local newspaper um, on November 
17th or 18th. I think it's the 18th. I want to say it's the 18th. It was my, um, my, like, really, really good friend's birthday, although him and I are not talking right now. <sighs> Anyways, um, and there was an article published about me and my hair clips and how I'm, like, an entrepreneur and all this stuff, so, um, my mom, like, ordered the picture from the photographer that took the picture, and, um, she gave it to me for Christmas, and now it's hanging on my wall. Um, because I had to picture frame two hooks there because I had a, like, miniature box, like a box that hangs on the wall full of miniatures. I don't know if anybody knows what miniature boxes are, but we have one, um, we have my mom's and then we have mine, and then my cousin has one, my aunt has one, my mom's aunt has one, my grandmother had one. Um, I really, I don't know if anybody else, like, has them. Um, I mean, I've got to assume other people do. I mean, it's, it can't be, like, just a, like, my family type thing. Um, but yeah, and my shirt is so falling off right now. It's like kind of meant to be off the shoulder, but I've been wearing it either off the shoulder or like off both shoulders, but it seems to not want to do that. It seems to just like want to hang off like my right shoulder. So I'm just going to let it, um, you know, hang off my, le my shoulder like that and it can uh, chill right there. Um, I might end up editing some of this out because I'm already at six minutes of talking and I don't know if you really want to listen to me talk all this much. Um, but I'm making some progress on the boonduckle here. That's what uh, the goal is, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, my phone just rang. I'm sitting in my living room, which um, you probably could tell if you've watched my Triangle and Pentagon videos. However, my um, friend Stephanie is not sitting here watching me today. She's at home. Um, we're probably hanging out on Sunday and watching Bruno because I bought Bruno yesterday. Um, and I also watched the new Alice in Wonderland movie yesterday, and I was really confused because I um, have traditionally watched, like, the one when she was little, and I thought that this one was just going to be, like, the same thing, but with, like, real people, not, um, animated. I mean, parts of it are animated, but, um, I thought, like, the majority of this one wouldn't be animated. There's bubbles across the street. My neighbor is blowing bubbles. Cool. Okay. Well. So, um, I thought that this one, like, the majority of it wouldn't be, like, it just wouldn't be, um, animated, but turns out it's semi both but oh back to what I'm getting at yeah so I thought this movie was going to be like a lot like the other one and it really wasn't and um at first I was a little disappointed because like I was so confused when they got to the like how it just wasn't happening but um because like she saw the bunny and she was like following the bunny um and then she got proposed to and I was like whoa 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 wait I thought Alice was like five but it turns out that it is um like Alice in the future and it was pretty cool um I really liked it. Really liked it. Okay. Almost done. Let me just measure this. Okay. Fabulous. So, here I am. Oh, and by the way, I am getting a new laptop for graduation, um, and hopefully an iPad, too. Um, but we're not really sure if that's the case. Uh, my dad's, like, I really, really have wanted an iPad for, um, ever since, like, Christmas Hanukkah season, because I was supposed to get one for Hanukkah, and I didn't, because, yes, I am Jewish and Christian. Um, it's a long story. Basically, one parent is one of each, and our parents couldn't, didn't want to, like, make us choose one or make us be one, so they just decided that they would just expose us to both, and then later on in life, if we ever came to the decision of wanting one, that we could, but, um, I personally don't choose religion. I, um, I'm a scientist niche person. I'm going into biology, and I don't really believe in that. So anyways, okay, so now that you're here, um, you want to start, like, doing the project over on this side, like, on the inside of the project here, because you're going to, like, kind of curve this around. So you just want to take this red one, and you just want to make a loop, like, going back next to the brick, okay? So see how I'm, like, next to the brick? All right. I mean, the square. Then you're going to take this one that's on the back here, and you're going to, like, almost make, like, a circle, See that? See how it's, like, forming a circle? It's exactly what you want to do. All right? And then you're going to take this black, and you're going to cross the tail and go into the loop. And then you're just going to do the same on the other side. Just cross the tail and go into the loop. And then you want to start to pull it tight. Um, the tricky thing here is to get it to line up. Because if, if you can see how I'm pulling this right now, it's not lining up real well. So I'm going to have to kind of, like, morph it around on my own. To get it to line up pretty nicely. Okay? So you don't want to pull too tight because if you tr um, try to pull it really tight, then you're going to get problems. This is also twisted, so I'm just going to rotate, rotate that. Alright. So now I'm going to do a second stitch. Okay, 
So now I did a second stitch there. Now, normally I would um, probably just like continue working, but um, I'm not gonna con I'm not gonna edit finish this film right now because I have to leave. I have to go to Make a Wish tonight, and I also have to go and pick up my prom charm for prom, um, and it's on the way. So I was gonna leave about now, um, but I will finish up videoing this um, later tonight. But I'll be in my bedroom by that point, so I'll have a little different change of scenery. Um, so yeah. Okay. So you're probably going to do about 10 stitches or so. Um, you just kind of like every so often want to fold like the little D down and see how it's looking. Don't fold it up to like the base here. You want to like lower it a little bit um, so you can get like a little gist. A little a gist? Wow. You can get an idea of what it's looking like. And then you're going to start working on your project. But um, take a look and see which like of the end projects here, and just at the beginning stitch here, like which loop is closest, so that you know what's looping. And um, since the red one is sticking out, and it's sticking out like vertically, um, the black one's gonna go through it. So I'm just gonna kind of lift that up a little bit, so if you could see that. And then I'm going to stick the black through there. If I could do this, yep. Oh. Okay. Alright then. So you just want to stick the black through first. And then... Um, you're gonna like put it back into your stitch. You want it to connect, sort of, kind of. It works, trust me. Okay? So now you can see I tightened that stitch and I have um, like a little gap there. It's probably about three stitches now um, to like get that really good and tight. And every couple of stitches you might want, like after you do um, two stitches to like tighten that, you might want to go back and have this black one go back through that red just to uh, like reinforce where they're connecting. I got to play with a puppy today and I was so excited because I am so scared of dogs and my best friend just got a puppy and I went over to her house today and um, it literally showed up at her house like five minutes before I got there. It was so adorable. Its name is Bailey, and I think it's a little multi poo Um, I think that's what it is. Really can't be positive on these things. <laughs> okay, so you just want to do enough stitches so that, um, now the ends line up. Just like so. And then, um, you can let this sit for a little while, and then you want to cut your ends and burn them off. Um, I don't recommend, like, tying them off like um, the Boondoggle Man or tying them off like um, you would for square. Oh, by the way, I don't think I ever mentioned this. Your strands are going to need to be um, a little less than arm's length when you cut them. Um, I don't recommend tying them off because then you kind of, like, lose what the D looks like. So either pull it really tight um, and let it sit for a day or two and make sure it won't come out. And then trip, snip, trim the ends. Or, um, or as I would just do, um, just trim the ends and then burn it all together. And then you will have a D. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I'll be back soon to make more letters for you. Hopefully, I will be able to do every letter of the alphabet. So, bye guys.